seemingly quick out of the corners. You see the sideways drift right through the end of the head. And these two have cleared away from the field. They've got a tremendous lead, about 500 metres over the third place getter. And this, incredibly, is Rod Millen, in car number 16, the Maxi's Pizza Mazda from Auckland, a car that he's virtually just borrowed for the weekend. And he's two-wheeling it round the long curves on this Wigram circuit. And, of course, rally people will know that this is Rod Millen, the New Zealand rally champion, a man whose name is well associated with the phenomenal Mazda rotary-powered cars. This car, although only borrowed for the weekend, he's certainly making it work. He's lifting the wheel in all the corners, driving in beautiful style, gets it sideways along the long sweepers. It's Rod Millen using all his rally driving experience. This car incredibly fast. It's an RX3 saloon. Fairly late model one, 2.2 litre. Very, very fast indeed. And Melling, um, <coughs> Melling, Rod Millen, using a number of his rally techniques, little dab on the brakes as he enters a corner just to set the car up and get it sideways. The only hope he's got of keeping up or keeping anywhere near these flying Camaros is to fairly hurl this little car through the corners. Of course, it's not hard to see why he's the leader in the 0 to 3,000 section of this race. Two sections, 0 to 3,000 and 3 to 6,000. The two Camaros in the top section are way out in front, but Rod Millen certainly leading this slower section. The less horsepower, right sideways through that bend. Front left-hand wheel, the inside one coming right off the ground. Getting the back end sideways to get a better line through corners. Rod Millen, a brilliant driver. And this is certainly the most phenomenal performance we've ever seen at Wigram from a Mazda Rotary. The Mazda people in New Zealand who have supported Rod Millen so well in the rally series must be delighted with this performance. He's in front of a lot of bigger cars, including this one, car number 27. That's Ken Sager's Ford Capri, a three-litre car. And Ken and Sager not able to match the tremendous ability of the Millen Mazda. Court, rather, of Brian Hesse. And he's having a very good scrap indeed with car number 36, the Fiat 124 Coupe of Alan Farr. And this Fiat Coupe also bearing battle scars on its left front guard. Brian Hesse hounding Farr down into the loop area. Two Fiat 124 Coupes, the sports version of a 125. 1600 cc double overhead cam motor two of them in the race one considerably faster than the other and brian hesse doing a bit of demon slipstreaming now on alan farr's car far in theory should be a little bit quicker down the back straight but there's quite a strong easterly wind that these cars have to run into and now far stretching out hesse's lost any advantage he might have had from a toe in the slipstream of far's car now holding a steady distance behind him. We'll see what they do under braking as they come down into the hairpin. The braking will also be interesting because the Fiat 124 has four-wheel discs. The Escort, not quite Alan as good Farr at the braking department. Rewheeling it round the hairpin. The leaders are now into their last lap. While this great scrap going on further down the field between Farr and Hesse. Coming back into the loop, still the leader, number 71, Doug Allen. This Z28 Camaro. Incredible power and great speed right out of corners. Keeping a very, very steady line for a car as difficult as this to handle. It's a wide open circuit. Foot to the floorboards. A nice slides out of corners. Huge long legs in the back of this straight. That's 160 mile an hour there. And now coming up through the field, we've got the Camaro number 24 of Rob Farah. And he's now having a tremendous scrap with Rod Millen. This will certainly be worth watching. Farah's come up through the field. He's now in third place. He's just put Millen for third place, but one would certainly expect this. I mean, we've got a, a 5.7 litre Camaro against a 2.2 litre Mazda. But Millen's not giving it away. But he'll be hard-pressed to hold Farrow down the long back straight. 
an incredible performance from Rod Miller in a car with an engine capacity one third the size of that Camaro. Lifting the inside wheel again. This Mazda really handles superbly. There's our second place getter, Enki Tullock. Received the checkered flag. He's comfortably away, but there's a great battle still going on for third place. Tullock running slowly down now. Still Doug Allen from Inky Tullock, the two that sent off right at the start of the race and drew out a lead.